Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home and welcome to my messy kitchen. Tonight we have a fresh and delicious treat for you. Tonight we are gonna be sharing with you one of our favorite salads and there's no cooking involved whatsoever. There's just a little prep work. And then as always, my favorite, my good old sealable bowl that we shake everything up in. <laughs> so we've got a quick and easy and surprisingly delicious recipe to share with you. And it just really doesn't involve anything. Um, except just a few store-bought ingredients. And this is our Italian cauliflower salad. It is so good and it is probably my favorite way to have cauliflower. So with just a few ingredients and just a little bit of a marinate time, like an hour is really all you need, you can have a delicious, fresh, and healthy salad. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you how to do it. All right, just like I said before, this is so easy, you're uh, just gonna be so surprised. So first of all, I grab my sealable bowl and I set it to the side. Um, so what I've done ahead of time is I have taken probably about a cup of tomatoes and I like using these sweet grape tomatoes. Number one, they're easier to cut. Number two, they, uh, they're a little sweeter, so they add a sweet to like a spicy, ordinarily spicy kind of recipe. So I've just cut those into fourths, um, whatever, you know, your heart desires. Uh, and then I have a bag of riced cauliflower. You can get this in most fresh uh, grocery produce sections um, and it's already riced. This bag was like about two bucks and for me, uh, on a weeknight when I want this salad, this is the most cost effective. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally buy a whole head of cauliflower and break that down. Um, you know, if you have the time to do that. Today, I did not, but I have done that. And on my kitchen tips here before long, I'm gonna show you guys how to effectively do that um, at home with a blender or a food processor. So we just, put that and yes, it's raw. It has not been cooked. I know, right? You probably went, ooh. <laughs> but trust me when I tell you, this salad is so good. It's fresh, it's got tons of different texture in it and you will love it. So we put two cups of that riced, uncooked cauliflower in our mixing bowl. And then we are going to season that with just about a teaspoon of salt and then about a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Now you can add other seasonings here, but in just a few minutes, you're gonna see why I kinda just stick to salt and pepper with this because we got a lot more flavor going in here. So we're going to get a spoon, which of course I do not have. Look, I'm telling y'all, it's hard to work and come home from work and have all my ducks in a row lots of days. So we're just gonna mix that around and get that salt and pepper incorporated in there. And then we are going to add in our one cup of our chopped tomatoes. And then I have this arugula baby spinach mix. And this is great because these are, this is a sweet, like from the spinach, the raw spinach is kind of sweet. And then arugula is like a small leaf lettuce that's kind of peppery. So it has a lot of flavor just like it is too. And what I have done is I have chopped up about a cup and a half of that. And we're gonna add that to the bowl as well. And mix that up. And look, I want you to just look how pretty, how pretty that is. Already, it's beautiful. It looks, 
it's enticing. We, you know, I say it all the time, we eat with our eyes first and it's gorgeous. But now we're really gonna add the flavor in here. And I am using a sugar-free Italian dressing, but you can use a full fat if you want to. We're just trying to kind of watch what we're doing. And then we are going to add in about a half a cup of that. So that's about two third or a third of that bottle. And it doesn't take much because there's a ton of flavor in that Italian dressing. And look, if you try this sugar-free Italian dressing, I promise it, you'll, you won't be able to tell the difference. Now, all that is mixed up. I'm gonna pop the lid on it. And then this just needs to sit and those flavors to marry for about an hour. So I give it a good shake and I pop it in the fridge and let it marinate for about an hour. So we're gonna let that happen. Then we're gonna come back and show you um, a great way to serve this uh, Italian cauliflower salad and um, how you can enjoy it just as much as we do. So stay with us. Okay, everybody, we are back. We have finished about an hour of marinade time. Now, one thing that I want to mention, everything in this salad will not really soften up all that much. There is a little oil and a little vinegar in that dressing, but not a ton. So it won't be like coleslaw where it kind of weeps things off. The, all of the textures that we added um, kind of hold their body and texture. So you got a really fresh, really crunchy, kind of peppery salad and look how pretty it is. So now you can do one of two things. Um, depending on who you're feeding. <laughs> now it's just us, so I'm gonna add this to the whole salad because we like it. And we're gonna add in, I've got a four ounce container of feta cheese. Now if you don't like feta, you can use some other crumbled cheese. Blue cheese is good in here. Just um, explore it. You can use grated parm, anything that you want, it's really good. So we put probably about half a cup of this in here and I just kind of mix it together. Now, um, if, if you're feeding people and you really don't know if they like the cheese that you're adding to the salad, that's fine, put it on the side. Um, I like the cheese in the salad because it soaks up some of that dressing and takes on the flavor of that dressing and kind of becomes part of it. So it's really, really good. Um, I serve this during the holidays because it's festive. You've got all the red and the green and it's just beautiful. I mean, it's just absolutely, positively, one of the most beautiful, healthy, good for you things that I've ever put in my mouth. And, and it, it is, all the texture is great. Um, my kids don't love cauliflower Big D does not love cauliflower, yet they all love this salad. All love this salad. So you've got just a crunchy bite of everything. You've got that creamy cheese and the creamy Italian dressing, the peppery taste from that arugula, the sweet taste from that um, um, spinach that we put in here. Now you can just use arugula. The recipe, when I posted, it only has arugula. It's fantastic. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's crunchy. It's smooth. It's all the things at once. It's a beautiful flavor explosion of sweet, of a little sour, um, a little peppery. It's really good. So if you're trying to eat healthier and you're tired of just eating regular green salads, y'all, this Italian cauliflower salad, Gets two thumbs up from the buttered home. <laughs> so, Big D and I are going to throw this together with some grilled chicken, and we are going to have us an Italian grilled chicken feast tonight. Uh, this is a great side 
for any night of the week and it will be a beautiful addition to your holiday table this holiday season. So like the, like all of our other recipes, this one can be found over at thebutteredhome.com. We would love it if you gave us a visit over there. We appreciate that. And you can go there and get your free printable recipe over there. We never charge you. Um, we do all of this for you to get you in the cooking, in the cooking, get you in the kitchen and cooking either for the first time or to rekindle a love affair with your kitchen again. That's what the Buttered Home was built on and that's what we hope that we help you all do. Uh, also, if you're not already, make sure you're following us on all of our social channels. We have a real good time. You never know when we're gonna pop in live. We actually did that earlier tonight. So if you know, you know, if you were there uh, before we filmed this video, you saw it live um, or a little bit of it anyway. Um, so you just never know what's going to happen, what's going to come out of my old messy kitchen. Um, and as always, if you want all of our videos in one convenient place and you haven't already, head over to YouTube and search for The Buttered Home. And then when you find us, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when we drop new videos like this one. Y'all, it's been a week already. Yes, and it's still the first of the week. Am I right? Has it been that way for you too? So I'm all for an easy supper and this Italian cauliflower salad is going to help us do that. So until next week, y'all have a great and wonderful week. And from the buttered home to your home, we sure love y'all. Bye.